Hey, hello, it's Jackie here. Welcome to another one of these uh, Auto Hotkey Com video references. So today I'm thinking that I'll show you a little bit of how you can um, send an email with Outlook and maybe attach a file. So let's get on with that. So first I'm going to specify a path to a file that I want to send with with the Outlook. So with this say no, you know what? We'll use the built-in um, a my documents like so and then we'll again put in test not text test dot text like so so for this path we'll have i myself have a file that's called test it's just normal text file and it's in my documents so yes now let's actually create an outlook object then so oh out look like so and we'll use the com object create method to actually create an outlook window and store the object from that window inside our variable o outlook so outlook app communication like so so that will actually create an uh, outlook object yeah uh, that's great now we actually have an outlook object which is good uh, just to actually have an email made or created we'll go in and say oh out look message I think. yeah message let's call it that and we'll use the outlook object we just made above and go into create that's a method of uh, the outlook object create item like so and to actually create a mail item and not a note or something else you would use the constants constant that are built into the outlook and to actually make a mail item you will use zero that's the constant value for that so yeah let's put that in here o equals outlook mail item yeah. yeah that seems good so let's actually do something with this message so o outlook message so and give that a subject so here I'll simply call it text report like so let's remove the front space there so yeah and of course we need something in the actual body of the the email so we'll use the again we'll still use the same object uh, the message object here and we'll specify a body for that like this so in, in this one I'll make it fairly simple and simply say the file in this email 
path is, and then we'll simply append in the, the file path we put in, in our variable above. So now this will actually be filled out with the value of this, which is the long path to our text file in my documents. So yeah, and we need to actually send that to someone. So for that, we'll use the, the to method. So to, and then who is it for? For this test, I'll simply send it to myself admin to capp.com like this. So that will make it send it to myself as well. I can see if it actually works. So yeah, that's 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 building of the actual email message. And now to actually also add in the file attachment from above here. So for this, I'll again go through the Outlook message object. And now we'll go and use the attach mint. That's again, that's a property or a method of the Outlook message object. So, and we'll add, and here we will simply put in our path to the file. Uh, these things could also be ha hard typed in, but as I've already filled out a variable with them here, I can simply use that variable to put in the path. So by doing that, we'll actually append that to Outlook. So let's, yeah, maybe I'll simply put in something here. This simply adds an attachment. Like so. And you know what, let's, let's see that in action once. So Outlook message then we can display that and yeah let's put in this play email item so that's what that does if i actually run this and yeah, maybe maybe we we can try and run that now we'll actually ask for a name for this so i'll say um, basic out, you know what, we can actually use one of those. So basic out look calm out hotkey demo. That's a fine name for this. At least it will tell me what it is. So we'll save that. And then I'll actually run this so as you can see there, it came fully up, working, ready with the values that I've specified. So it's sending from one of my emails and it's sending it to one of my site emails. It has the subject text reports. It has appended my test file and it's specified the body that I asked for. So that seems to be working just great. So let's close that down. No, not this time. So yeah, just to be sure that I'm actually seeing this before doing anything, I'll make sure that the script asks me before sending or the user actually using this. But let's put in a message box here, the four the number four will give me a message box with a yes and no buddy. So button, so I can actually say yes or no to um, send email now 
just as an example. So here to see the syntax, you have the options, you have the title. So here I'll call the title email. And this is the actual text. So send email now. And for that, depending on whatever I tell or whatever choice I pick for this, I need to actually act on that. So there's this built-in if message box like so. And I want to act on actually clicking yes. So if message box is yes, we can go in and say, oh, outlook. Oh, something went wrong there. So, oh, outlook message like that message and then send so if i say send to send the, the email now it will actually send it and just to be sure if i actually click no so else if i don't click yes i'll make outlook simply i'll make them save the message so instead of sending it I'm saving it so I'll still have the actual email there and then we'll end it all with a return like this so just for the fun of it let's now see this in action so here I'll save it again and I'll start it so yeah in a moment we'll actually see this come up so there, and it's asking me just like I asked it to, and it seems to be ready to be sent. So send the email now, and this is yes and this is no, so I'll pick yes. So there, it actually sent off that message, and if I wanted to, I can now open Outlook on my actual email program what whichever I picked but for now yeah so as you can see here it actually came in right there so yeah I received it just fine thank you for this time and uh, like or share please thank you see you next time bye <laughs>